ultimately what I'm not doing is I'm not trying to control um, Todd's feet like that. I'm just getting my hands here, and what I'd like to do is as he moves a foot, move that foot, is just follow it, right? I'm just following it with my hand, and then I'm filling up that space. If he moves this one, I'm following it at an angle, as opposed to always trying to move it. You may end up going under, you may end up going around. Can I borrow you again, Todd? I don't want to get too hung up on the specific pass. What I'm focusing on right now is as he puts his feet here is this, just this pressure, and maintaining this constant pressure, right? So now if he moves, just hold this leg up in the air. If he moves that leg, that pressure's off, right? So I need to follow that, move this one up. Move this, lift, lift him, yes. So now I need to be in here to keep that pressure on. So there's no moment where I'm just like halfway. I'm giving him that pressure, he steps up. I'm tracking that leg, I'm keeping that pressure. This might be a knee overpass. This might be an underpass on this side. He might move this foot, and then I do something else. It just depends. You're gonna feel the, the easiest route to take, but I just wanna make sure you have that consistent pressure. Okay, now he'll put his feet below my knees, but he's on his back. He's like this, right? And here I need to cut an angle. I'm gonna remove one foot and immediately drop. Now, as soon as I get connected, I want my, I, at this point, from this point forward, I never want my heels to touch the mat. What's holding me up here? My right hand. And I see this a lot. And if this happens, you should just let go and drop in chest to chest. But I'm intentionally doing that right now to give him time to put a frame in. And we'll frame first with his arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one real quick just for a little angle and I'm gonna to start to drop and his hands are gonna come in to stop me. Right, you can use both, good. As soon as his hands come in, look at my hand. This is just on front of the quad, not like this, but just here. I'm gonna feel where is he holding my weight. I wanna make him hold me up, close my eyes. I can feel where he's holding my weight and then I'm just gonna change the angle. And then that becomes the pass. So wherever he's connected to me, that's where I want to feel where, where that uh, frame is supporting weight and just change the angle. Once you do it two or three times on the arm, we'll go ahead and lay down. I'm going to switch my feet and start to come in. He's going to use his knee. Yeah. And it's the same thing. Here, no good. Heels flat. So first thing is make Todd hold me up. Heels off the mat. I'm relaxed. My arms are relaxed. Close my eyes. Where's the frame? Good, and then one little movement, and I can get chest to chest. And that's the third piece behind this. So once I get my weight on him, feel where his frame is, and then change the angle, I'm not looking to pass. I'm not thinking about trying to go all the way around and get cross sides or any of that. I'm just trying to get my chest to his chest. That's my only goal, okay? Immediately take away space. Go ahead and try it, back and forth. 